Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to find present value. I'm going to show you two ways to find present value. One using the formula that you see right here and the other method using the table. Let's take a look at our question. The question states that the future amount needed is $5,000. It also tells us that time is 10 years and interest rate is 4% compounded semi-annual. So before we can use this formula, we need to first determine our rate to use and the number of periods. So let's go ahead and find those two values first. So rate is 4% compounded semi-annually, meaning twice a year. Therefore, instead of using 4%, you will use 4% divided by 2 equals to 2% per period. And for time, you will use 10 multiplied by 2 equals to 20. The reason we use 20 is because the amount is going to be compounded two times a year. Hence, in a duration of 10 years, you will compute interest 20 times. So now we have the values that we need to plug into our formula here. So our formula for present value equals 5000 divided by 1 plus R, which is 2%. So instead of 2%, we're going to put 0 0.02. 2% divided by 100% equals to 0 0.02, raised to the power of 20. So in your calculator, you should get 3,364.86. This is the present value or the amount that should be set aside today and invested for 10 years, compounded semi-annually at 4% in order to get 5,000 in the future. Now let's find the same value using the table. So as per our table, in the first column you have the number of periods and in the first row you have the rate per period. So before you start using the table, you will need to determine what we just did here, the 20 and the 2%. Once you have this two information, then you can go to your table and look at the intersection of 2% and 20. So here you have 0.67297. This number, we will multiply it to our future value needed. So in your calculator, you should get the value of 3,364.85. So in this video, you learned two ways to find present value, one using the formula and the other using the table.